Hello, Masinaga students and teacher. This is Mimi Trong. I am Benny Thai uh, at uh, Mr. Pleasant, a four grader. I am a dental hygienist for 20 years. I am graduated from University of Maryland Dental School. I, my current working days is um, I work uh, 12 hour shift. Okay. Typical, I see nine, 10 patients a day. We see patients just like you going to see your dentist at least two times a year for your preventive checkup and cleaning, right? For people who have gum disease, we go more often. And we see cavities, treating it, right? So children, we usually recommend no candy, especially the sticky one, <laughs> um, because that's what causes cavities. You know, stay away from soda and sport drinks. That we educate them a lot about what cavities, how it's formed, and um, what I like the most about my career is that to, to help people reach the optimal health. Because as you know, that your mouth is the gateway for your, you know, overall health. So keep it um, as healthy as possible, you're going to be healthier overall. Okay. The most challenging that I have is uh, like a uh, patient like doesn't show up for the appointment because they are afraid of pain or they don't like the needles, right? Kids the play of pain and uh, that's why they uh, reason they also are not accepting because they they just scared they know this but don't be guys uh, a lot a lot of um, technology out there that you don't need the needles now uh, to get the, the pain away okay we have a new technology and all of that but here I want to introduce you to Megan my co-worker not a hygienist to tell you more hi I'm Megan Greco I'm a registered dental hygienist um, I've been in dentistry for 16 years, um, but I've been a hygienist for nine. I have an associate's degree in dental hygiene from Community College of Baltimore County. Um, most patients think that that means I only went to school for two years, but not true. Um, so to be a hygienist, it does require a lot of education. So dental hygiene school itself is two years, um, but then there's you know a minimum of two years of prerequisites going in. So a lot of science classes. So if science is your thing, you might want to consider dental hygiene. And also, in order to keep your license, you have to renew your license every two years, and you have to meet the continual education requirement. You know, 33 hours of continual education. Right. You know, you have to learn how the basic life support, CPR, and then the infection control, which means, you know, we want to, you come in safe with the clean, sterilized instrument. So, uh, what else that well, we can be as a hygienist? So, on right on continuing education, it's funny because we're here in Jamaica yes. <laughs> at a dental conference. Um, learning lots of things that we can take back to our offices to help keep our patients healthy. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the things that I really love about dental hygiene is it's not just about cleaning patients' teeth or looking for cavities. You know, we do so much to assess our patients' health, um, both in their mouth and for the rest of their body. So my office is starting to do airway screenings and sleep testing for patients. Um, I recently have taken a course to become an oral my functional therapist. So along with treating my patients for dental hygiene, you know, doing their cleanings and treating gum disease, um, I'm also going in and doing almost like physical therapy for their mouth to get their, their tongue and the muscles of their face and neck to you know, function properly for good breathing and for swallowing, for chewing. Um, so it's actually a really exciting time to be in dentistry because we're expanding into so many different places. Exactly, children, and if you see your dentist next time, ask them to check if you have a tongue tie. How's All your important. airway? Yeah. Have you snore when you sleep? And if you wake up in the morning, you feel energized or tired. Besides clinical, seeing patients, nine, ten patients a day, we can do something else. What else that we can do as a hygienist? 
So there's actually a lot of options. Um, many hygienists decide to, instead of treating patients in a dental office, they go into education. Um, so they're teaching future dental hygienists what to do. There's hygienists who go into public health and social work. Um, you know, so they're working to better access to care um, in patients who may not be able to get to a dental office. Um, a lot of dental hygienists focus on nutrition. Um, there's so many different avenues. Yes. And guess what? Also, the, the hygienist can be an advocate. She is a political fighting for the right yes. at more to do to help people. And for me, besides clinically three days a week, I floating around, go to offices, introduce, you know, uh, the um, the favorite, you know, electric toothbrush or any oral care product that help you an optimal help for your not just. Um, dental but overall health. Uh, so I travel a lot too to dental conferences and you know learn more about technology and the oral care product. You can be a rep for worldwide too as a rep. You can work from home now as a hygienist, as a uh, dental consultant. You know, I have with a lot of people so not just clinically. So whoever likes to travel can be um, a cell rep for the dental company. Okay, so so much fun just like we here enjoy every moment at this Deliver Wow Summit. Bye, Bye again!